As a result of the release of the DJI Avata 2 and the Goggles 3, there has been a huge amount of interest in DJI's role in FPV. We have a new drone that is better than its first version in almost every way, and we have a new set of goggles that offer some new interesting features and capabilities. Like every DJI launch though, things are not perfect. We have a drone that most reviews will tell you is amazing, yet it does have some really strange quirks. And you also have a set of goggles that are somewhat limited as a result of DJI choosing at this moment in time not to support products like the original Avata or the O3 system. Now there are lots of things you probably don't know about this drone but there's something else you may not be aware of as well and that is it seems that DJI may be working on another version of the Avata 2 but another set of goggles as well. Now, the reason I say this is the guys over at FPVWTF have posted some screenshots of code from the DJI Assistant program that show the model numbers for these products here, but they also show model numbers for some unreleased products in this sort of category, and that's what I'm going to tell you about today. Now, looking at their post on Twitter, you can see we have some code here from the assistant program that talks about doing upgrades and things like that. What's interesting, though, isn't that it is the model numbers. So, for instance, if you take a look here, it talks about WA520 upgrade fail. The WA520 is this, the DJ Avata. However, there is also a product labeled WA521. This is is a hint of a new unreleased version of what we think is possibly an Avata. The reality is today we don't actually know what drone it is, but the fact it's a WA521 would hint that it is a very similar drone to the Avata 2. In fact, if we look at other DJI products, you've usually had this single digit naming difference between models like the DJI Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Pro. But I should state that just because there's a WA521 after the Avata 2, it doesn't mean it's a more higher end model. It's a model most likely within the same product range, but it could actually be a lower end model and it's not necessarily going to be better. If you then go down further, there is something else rather interesting as well. And that is, you can see it says ZV902. That is the model number for the new DJI Goggles 3. There was a ZV901, that was the DJI Goggles Integra, and in fact the ZV900 was the DJI Goggles 2. But here they refer to ZV300, which again, the ZV line is generally the DJI Goggles line, and the 300 is an entirely new number that we haven't seen from them before. What this hints at is DJI seems to be working on a new version of the Avata 2, as well as a new set of goggles. Now, the reality is right now, we just do not know what these products are. The fact that we have a WA521 and a WA520 in the Avata 2 hints that they're most likely going to be very similar products. I don't really personally believe there's the possibility of a pro version of this looking at what DJI have done. The Avata 2 doesn't seem to be lacking in many ways. And in my opinion, it's more likely that you'd get a lower end model, no Wi-Fi, possibly lighter, possibly even a smaller camera more like the O3, maybe a version to try and get it under 250 grams. With regards to the goggles, we obviously have here the ZV902s and the ZV900 line being the goggles to an Integra. The ZV300 hints again that it appears to be a goggles device, but we don't know what line that's in. But the fact it's a lower number would hint that it could be, again, a lower end product. You could think, looking at what we see here, that DJI could be releasing a much lower end FPV drone and goggles set, maybe in that 250 grams category to try and capture the low end market. This is all, though, completely speculation. We simply don't know at this time. What we do know, though, is DJI appears to be working on a new product. The development seems to be a bit behind this one, but it's as far along that they have baked it into Assistant 2, which means it's likely out there somewhere in testing. So... Here and now, what does this mean? Well, there is still no information with regards to a possible O4E unit. I don't believe 
this Hinter 04E unit as a standalone. This is more like another version of the drone and goggles. It does appear to be the case though DJI is working on something. Maybe they could be working on a version of the FPV drone, although that does have a different model number in. So we're going to have to wait and see. Reality is though, they're up to something and we're probably going to hear a bit more about it in the future. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. I hope you have found it interesting. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.